looks as though the, uh, the Panthers are through to a, a semi-final next weekend. I would imagine they would uh, they would play either the Roosters or the Sharks. That should be a cracker. Tonight. So an all Sydney semi-final guaranteed, and uh, it'll be Souths taking on either Brisbane or St George or Lamar. What's your pick in that one later tonight? Oh, uh, the Roosters, but not with any confidence. That, that, that's a, a real even money game, that one. Uh, that could go each way. We see the Kangaroos coming back out onto the field. Gradually yeah. making their way out. Jordan Quarry looks like he's actually captain for the Kangaroos. We'll kick off, of course. So, again, hopefully Bundanoon hold that ball early. He mightn't get up there and really make a game of this one. I'll certainly be hoping to do that. Uh, difficult conditions underfoot for both these teams tonight. I think it's just more slippery than anything. I think yeah. the ground's holding it. It needs to tell you what it needed it. I mean, all grounds in, in, around uh, New South Wales need a bit of water. I but say, not just in Sydney or, or the MacArthur, but right across the state, trying for a, a drink or three. It certainly has been very dry out here. We've been here a month or so ago. Uh, a lot of dust coming up. And we've got uh, pools of water as we get underway for the second half of the preliminary final. Bundanoon running right to left on your radio. They're 35 minutes away from the possible lakes of Campbelltown City. Can they hold on and go to the grand final next Saturday evening at Harvey Shepherd Field against Warragamba? The Highlanders with the ball, 12 short of halfway. Denny finds a runner on the outside. That looks like uh, Phelps there going for a gallop to halfway. The Highlander down in back plays. Had a bit of trouble. In fact, there's Phelps kicking now. Good morning, interchange. That will find the line on the eastern side of the field. That kick. And Kermitown City with the opening scrum feed at the second half. Another meters out 20 in on the eastern side. Sorry, Mike. Another injury for Bundanoon. Missing a few now with injuries. This could uh, mean the difference. It's going to be a tough 35 minutes for the Highlanders. In this uh, second half, already running low with numbers to start with, and then uh, several injuries during the match. In the case of the all the Southerners. And that's the only city with the ball coming out of their own end. I would imagine the message from Danny Gallagher would be more of the same from the Kangaroos. Hold the ball. Yeah. Definitely. Well, the ball. 18 points up, they don't need to do anything silly. No, certainly not. And uh, Chris Conquest, the Bundy coach, uh, possession and territory is the key for their boys. They need some consistent possession up here in Campbelltown's half. But again, not make mistakes like they did in the first half to let the, the Campbelltown City Kangaroos uh, into the game. As you see, nearly a mistake. Just managed to clean up here, the Kangaroos. A little bit sloppy there. 30 metres out from the city line. That's the last. Arm goes up from the wood. Barnes with the head strapped. And the head here. Kick bounces any which way to sit up for Campbelltown City. It's Mohammed Khan for the line. Horace Smith with the tackle is a beauty. Gets the ball back on the inside. McMahon for Barnes. Can he keep it alive? No, he can't. Thunderdoom comes up with a great defence. Highlanders, they try a late team nil. That was a horrific kick for the winger. It was not a great kick, but it's gone over the winger's head and a horrible bounce. Well, perfect for City, and they nearly made Bundanoon pay. They almost did, but Bundanoon did enough to hold on. Two and a half gone, second half. Remains 18 nil. Campbelltown City over Bundanoon for MacArthur insulation. I'm Mike Shane, that's Dave McDonald. This is Finals Football Group 6 League Live on MSR. Hope you're enjoying the coverage wherever you are. Drop us a line on social media if you want to get in touch with us. MacArthur Sports Radio and Group 6 League Live on Facebook and also via Twitter at Mac underscore Sports Radio. And the website, MacArthurSportsRadio.com, if you want to get in touch with us. Yes. Big Anthony Phelps taking it forward. In fact, that might have been... Uh, Con it was Phelps, that's right the first time. Conquest of the Chris Variety. Kicks downfield. That's not a bad-looking kick. In fact, that'll be far too deep, and that'll run halfway back to Picton. 
back to the 20 for a seven tucker set for the kangaroos they lead 18 nil on the macarthur insulation scoreboard we've had three and a half minutes in the second half just over half an hour remaining in the preliminary final tonight three on offer tomorrow shane turnbull will join you for first grade from 3 p.m the oaks and camden to do battle the battle of burgering road for a spot in the grand final sunday week at campbelltown stadium we'll be there for all six grand finals on msr join us next weekend grand final weekend how good is it the footy's been exceptional this year and we're about to see more of it macquarie down the eastern side for the kangaroos inside the 30. he'll play at 25 meters from the line out of dummy half that's a good little run that's barnes going for a scoot he's been good tonight the number six he'll play at 15 meters out from the line they come back to the right hand side support on the outside there as they work towards the line you would think a try here would all but end the hopes of Bundanoon. the highlanders really need to be the next to score if they're to have any chance in this preliminary final tonight there's another Bundanoon player reeling out of the tackle as Campbelltown city on the attack two meters out from the line in front of the right hand upright Alex Ward raises his arm to say last tackle. Shovel ball to the left-hand side for the Kangaroos. They still haven't kicked. Do they need to kick? Have they got over the line? I think they're short. It will be a turnover. Bundanoon holds on. Half an hour to go. They're down 18 nil. And down a player at the moment too. They were lucky there. 12 men defence. They're able to hang on. But they're really battling here through injury at the moment. Bundanoon. 29-46 remaining. We have got time off briefly for this injured player in the, eastern, in the middle of the ground at the southern end the Thurman sports ground so next saturday at harvey shepherd field we'll have the same three fixtures on offer the league tag two from four o'clock league tag one at 5 15 second division 6 30 saturday night and then sunday week off to campbelltown stadium under 18s at 11 30 reserve grade at 110 First grade for the Norman L Day Cup at 3 p.m. Sunday week. We will bring you all of that action here on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Healthy crowd in attendance here at Filmy this evening. As we see the Highlanders coming out of their own end. Towards the quarter. We'll find a, a score here to make the game a little bit interesting. Up towards the 20 and over. That's a good one there from Bundanoon. About 25 metres out from the line. What have they got? There's Phelps charging up the middle. Good run, Anthony Phelps to the 40. Good run there from the big number 11. He'll play a 10 short of halfway, looking for a play of the ball. Quickly, but couldn't get it. Denning to the right hand side. Chris Conquest sends it. Sends it downfield in a hurry. That's a great looking kick towards the western touchline. The defence is there. A high tackle there. Thought that might have been a touch high. Referee said it was okay. Play on the ball. He duck into it. There's Mohammed Khan going for a run towards the 30. We'll play at 27 metres from the line. They want a quick play. The ball is not coming. Kangaroos. Getting driven back in defence. Good work there from the Highlanders. They've lifted in the last couple of minutes. Phelps making the tackle along with Isaac Martin back on the field. They make the next one as they keep Campbelltown City inside the 40. Only about 32 metres out. Barnes, where's he going to go? Puts a little grubber kick through. Doesn't beat the, the uh, Bundanoon defence. That was Granger doing well down low to pick it up. Great pick up. Uh, uh, Campbelltown City defending now. Bundanoon 32 metres from the Campbelltown City line. Here's their chance. Phelps. Dirt on the back, old school style. Go Rugby Willie! league forward. Plays it 30 metres out. They go out of dummy half with Shane Denning. That's a good run for 10, 12, 14 metres. He'll play at 15 from the line, 15 in Western side. First real chance of the second half for the, the Highlanders. Comes back through the hands. They slog it with a show and go. They nearly fell for it. He's only five or six metres from the line in front of the post at the northern end. What have they got here? They'll go to the left-hand side. Chris Conquest, ball out wide. Isaac Martin steps and scores. Gets it down. That's 
made it interesting. 18-4. Kick to come, MacArthur insulation scoreboard. Well, they've got plenty of time, the Highlanders, and that was, uh, again, a good piece of play. They certainly had the numbers on the outside, but they went back inside to give them that uh, easier shot at goal. And it's game on here now. He's 18-4 on the MacArthur insulation scoreboard. You would have heard the Highlanders fans cheer that one home. Their first of the night comes on 42 minutes, seven into the second half. Now it'll be Anthony Phelps to do the goal kicking duties. Only about 15 metres out, and the same in from touch on the western side. But each kick is going to be important for Bundanoon. It'll be vital. They need to stay in the match. Speaking of staying in the match, the Warriors cannot do so. 59 seconds to go. They've got the ball, but it's the Panthers 27, Warriors 12. That's for Rugrats Rugby, so the Panthers are through to next week. They'll meet either the Roosters or the Sharks in the semi-final in the NRL. Anthony Phelps, left footer, 15 out, 18 in, Western side. Wants to kick this, a left footer, on his non-preferred side of the ground. Sends it on its way, looks good, he's good, flags go up. 18-6, the Highlanders trail Campbelltown City on the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. Still 26 minutes to go, Mike. It's certainly game on, but again, they really do need to score again, Bundanoon. It's going to be battle of the fittest, I think, this one, Mike. With a lot of players uh, becoming injured from both sides in this game. Certainly will be. In case of last man standing, 18-6 the score from MacArthur Insulation. 25 and three quarters to go in the preliminary final. When you thought this might be heading one way, the Highlanders have fired the opening shot in the second half, and they've got their tails up, the Highlanders. Crunching good, tackle. Great run there, made over 20 metres. Good defence from the Kangaroos. They need to hold on here, the Kangaroos. If Bundanoon scores next, then we've got a game on our hands. Kangaroos really need to stay switched on. Chris Conquest. Up the middle, can he get it out the back? Yes, Denning, shovel ball to the left-hand side. Here's Smith, the half-back. He's been good on the whirling dervish to nowhere in particular. Gets dragged down 35 metres out, just to the left of centre field. They keep going that left-hand side. We've got a player down in back play. Looks like a city player as well. Shoulder. So 12 in the defensive line. Are they going to capitalise on it? Slog it inside the 40. Drives the kick downfield. What a bad looking effort. Excellent kick. Sits up inside the 10. What can they do here, the Kangaroos? A rare opportunity with possession. Bodies flying left, right and centre, but all bouncing back to their feet. There's Borcha. In fact, that's Mohammed Khan trying to put the ears back. But the covers come across. They've done it enough to at least slow him down. He gets thrown the ground. 31 metres out from the line. And that's the uh, the second rower there for Campbelltown City. Vernon Phillips, the skipper's in trouble with the right shoulder. And he's heading his way back into the line. The Kangaroos have a 10 short of halfway. But not making any work. Oh, also in mistake. Bundanoon have it. Bundanoon have it. 45 from the line. Here's the chance they were looking for. 24 to go. They're down 18-6 on the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. Chris Conquest tries to fend them off and lead from the front. He won't get through this time. 43 from the line in centre field. Holding down for a long time in the tackle. Referee says play on. Phelps to the right hand side. Good tackle down low there. Down a runner, but that was a good grassing tackle. Denning keeps it going. Phelps this time goes himself. Beats one. Can he beat the second? No. Heading towards the eastern touchline. There's a pack of, there's a mob of ruse there to stop him. About 32 metres from the line. Only a couple in on the eastern side. They'll come back open left. Smith for Sloggett. Sloggett steps off the left. Can't beat the line. City's defence is holding firm for now. What have they got here? The Highlanders. They'll go out of dummy half. Shane Denning up the middle. Whack! Top that he set. Great one-on-one -on -one defence. That might have been Josh Tonga with a beauty. Chris Conquest on the last left-hand side. Little grubber kick towards the end goal. Mohammed Khan just being good. And he is so again. Can't beat the cover tackle though. Gets dragged to ground five out from his own line. Great defence there from the Highlanders. 22-40 remaining. 18-6. Bundanoon trails penalty to the Kangaroos. They rushed up there too quickly. Giving them a get-out-of-jail-free card out of their own ten here. 
17-6 the score. 22 and a half to go, Mike. Plenty of time in this one, Dave. <laughs> you can see the Kangaroos kick for touch. Will it find the line? Just, just finds the line. Horace Smythe made a good effort. But it found the mark 40 metres out. They take the quick tap. Referee says no. Back on the mark, please. We'll go again. And that's Abraham Carnes taking it forward. Gets cartwheeled back. Driven back in a good tackle. Three Highlanders there. No entry. Admission denied. 42 metres from the line. Getting a bit physical in there. Penalty kangaroos. Bit unnecessary there. Penalty count 7 5 for Rugrats. A bit of steam coming off the players. Figuratively and literally, Dave. It's a very cool evening and they are fired up. A little punch and kick in the touch from Barnes. Five inside, Bundanoon territory. Suspect, but very short. Judge Judge was right in line with that, said it was okay. 38, 37 metres from the line, Carmelton City on the attack. What can they do here, the Kangaroos? This is probably their first opportunity in the second half inside Bundanoon territory. We go to the left hand side once again, there's Barnes taking on the line. Can't get through, can get through in the end, Jake Barnes, good run from him. He'll play it now, inside the 30, looking to find a way through the line. Not having any joy, back to the right hand side. Hamilton City deep in attack now, can the Highlanders hold on? They come to the right hand side. Nice yeah, little kick there from McMahon. I think that's going to be too deep, but it is. Back to the 20 for a seven tackle set. 20 and 20 to go. 18-6 the score for MacArthur Insulation. Well, again, good set needed here by Bundanoon. And to get some field position. And again, that's, I don't know how many times that's been. The ball hasn't been tapped on the mark. And back they go. Vital seconds being lost. 15 gone, second half, 20 remain. Good defence there from the Kangaroos on the 30. Cameltown City having to muscle up in defence. Thundernoon fans calling for a penalty, not getting it. Good run there, Conquest takes it forward towards the 40. Four defenders. And we're the hunting in numbers, the Cameltown City defenders. Chris Conquest to the left hand side, straight up the middle. Good run from the boss of the Highlanders within a couple of halfway in the middle of the ground. Denning to the right hand side. These Phelps once again straight up the middle. Route one football from the number 11. They're 40 metres from the line, the Highlanders. They keep coming to the left hand side. Sloggett steps off the left, can't get through the line. 32 metres out, he'll play it now. Denning in a dummy half. Where's he going to go? Goes right. Chris Conquest again, under the right chicken wing, he says, follow me, boys. This is how we do it, but he loses it in the tackle. Hamilton City have it inside the 30, and they get a penalty as well. The added bonus for a shoulder. This has been a very physical match tonight, Dave. It has, but again, another penalty for the front of Nuna given away when they've got some decent field position. 18 and a half to go. They're certainly finding it difficult for the Highlanders to maintain their possession of territory. I know what you're talking about. It wasn't. There we go. Commentary box. Uh, it hasn't avoided me. It's hit me from behind. How did that happen? <laughs> Took a very cool bounce. Mohamed Cage, I'd like to his part time ball boy there to retrieve the. The steed and to keep the game going. You got it. Yeah, mate, never <laughs> lost it. <laughs> when you said my ball hand. <laughs> the less said about that, the better, I think. <laughs> Campbelltown City inside Bundanoon Territory. By 10 metres now. 20 in western side. Back to the left hand side they go. Turn inside, nice ball there. Barlow takes it forward. Gets Boy. driven back, two and three there to, to stop him. You can hear the cry of held in the background. 
35 metres from the line, maybe a little bit more. Oh, slow to their feet, Barnes. Out the back, through the hands, but intercepted by Bundanoon, can't be held there. Kangaroos turn it over. 35 metres out from their own line, Bundanoon. Straight up the middle. No way through the defence there, Camelton City really aiming up. Getting a bit willing out there. No at the wrong end of the field. Chris Conquest says, follow me boys, I'll take 13 metres, seven short of halfway. Just to the right of centre. Getting out of dummy half goes for a scoot. Find support on the outside, that's a good run there over the halfway towards the 40. Here come the Highlanders once again. Their fans find their voice here at Filmy. Chris Conquest, short ball was a nice one for Anthony Phelps up the middle. Good run there, inside the 20 now. They'll play it 22 metres out, getting to the right hand side. Here's uh, Conquest taking it forward. Good run again from the skipper. Getting out of dummy half on the last base himself. Find some lazy markers. Can he get to the line? He's going to be very close. He'll be held up over the line. In fact, a turnover on the last a metre out. Was that the right option? Should he have gone through the hands left? They might have had a bit of space here on that left-hand side. Getting found the, the markers asleep there. Found their way through. But and not a silly option all the same. No, good option there from the number nine. He's been good tonight. 15.50 uh, to go. 18-6. Next try vital in the context of this match. The Highlanders get it, then we were alive. If the Kangaroos get it, I think it's just about over. Need a good defensive set here from Bunnanoon to keep him in here. Bunnanoon doing well so far. Kenilton City not quite up to the 40. Back slam, good tackle there, 35 metres out. As I said, we're back here tomorrow. Picton in Campbelltown City in the 18s. Mittagong and Picton in reserves. That's at 10 past one and first grade at three, the Oaks and Camden for spotting the grand final next Sunday at Campbelltown Stadium. We'll be there for that one. McMahon gets the kick away, it's a wobbler. Smythe takes it, 35 out, wheels around the big redhead. Can't get through the line and gets punched on the 30, his own end of the park. Bunnanoon struggling to get back here. 7-8 metres made by the Highlanders on that run before solid defence stops them. Denny, crowd calling for an offside penalty against Camelton City not getting a whistle. Do they need it at the moment? They're bunched here, Bunnanoon in attack. They throw the proverbial tissue over the lot of them. A lot of afters in the tackle there. The referee does find the penalty penalty. Gave them every opportunity though, kangaroos, but they couldn't help themselves. The penalty comes for a push in the tackle. And the Highlanders will chew off about 15, 20 metres. Abraham can't get the silly from him. Not required. 42 metres from the line. They take the tap. The right hand side, Chris Conquest for the second roller there, and Adam Hawk goes out the back. Driven backwards 15, 20 metres, so all that ground has been lost in one play. We're on halfway eastern side of the field. And that'll be a penalty to. Bundy. No, that'll be a penalty to Campbelltown City. For the push in the play the ball, again, he was all over the Bundaberg player in the play the ball, but not, not necessary. Not necessary. Nine, Probably a bit tough in the context. 9-6 the penalty count on our sheet. Inside, 13 and a half to go. But again, just not what they needed. No, certainly not. They'll kick for line and find it about 32 metres out. Just to the side of the field. Waiting for the ball. Come back into play. Gets retrieved at the northern end. Great trying to lift the Highlanders. Has been a very good crowd here this evening at Filmy Sports Ground, especially given the, uh, the inclement weather in the region. It looks like it has passed for the time being. And, uh, certainly for second division, there's been no no issues with the rain. Do they love their footy, don't they? The locals. 
been, it's great to see. You need to get out here more often, Davey Mack. We need you back here in 2019 on MSR. There's Barnes finding the second row in Phillips, the skipper, had a problem with the shoulder in the first half. To the right hand side they go. There's Barnes going for a scoot, has one try, won't get a second with a run like that. Three Highlanders there to stop him. He's going to play it now, only about five or six metres from the line. Go right hand side. Ball goes to ground though, it's gone forward from Campbelltown City. So I have a scrum feed. We've got a little bit of afters here. There he is, the natives are restless again. Oh, up against the, uh, the fence in the southwestern corner. Handbags at 10 paces, but it is. Again, just shows they're both two passionate sides. They've given yes. it all tonight so far. Plenty of passion in Group 6 Rugby League. That is for certain. Clock, clock continues to tick. 11 and a half minutes remaining. Yeah, he hasn't blown it off. 11 and a half to go. 18-6, Campbelltown City. Leads Bundanoon in the preliminary final for second division. And, um, don't have kickoff yet in the Rooster Sharks game. Probably about five minutes away. If you have any scores during the match, we'll bring them to you thanks to Rugrats Rugby. And now we've got time off, 11 8 remaining in this preliminary final. Now he's taken quite a while to call time off there. I've got to say, that was a good minute, minute and a half. So just over 11 minutes remaining. A couple of Highlanders players being called out. Looked like originally it was going to be a knock-on against Campbelltown City. A little obscured as to what actually happened. Good job, buddy. In the southwestern corner. Also a little bit below as well, Mike. It makes it even harder, doesn't it? Yes. All the joys of Group Six, mate. It's uh, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, going to, it's going to be play on in the scrum feed to Campbelltown. Oh, it was. I think he, he was nearly, I thought it was nearly going to be a penalty to Campbelltown City, but luckily for the Highlanders, they'll get to, they'll get the feed in the scrum here. Ten out from their own line, 20 in Western side. 11 minutes remaining in the preliminary final. Only the one try so far in the second half. Now, if you're enjoying the coverage, MacArthurSportsRadio.com, the MacArthur Sports Leader. Bringing you Group 6 Rugby League on a Saturday night out of Philby. Where else would you want to be? As we see the Roosters fans enjoying local footy. Gone. Knock on from the Highlanders. That's right, Dave. That's Dave McDonald. I'm Mike Sheen. MacArthurSportsRadio.com bring you all the Group 6 footy in 2018. As we see the scrum feed about 25 metres out from the Campbelltown City attacking line. The, scrums, the handling has certainly improved. Oh, definitely in the second half. In the second half. And they've adjusted to the conditions and the handling has certainly improved. But when they have dropped it, they've been in crucial positions for both teams. There's another one inside their own 20, but here come the Kangaroos. To the right hand side they go. Abraham Khan. In fact, that's Mohammed. And the hit here goes for a gallop. They get through the line though. They come back to the right hand side. There's Mohammed. Uh, in fact, that's Abraham now going for a run. They play it 19 metres out from the line. Western, uh, western side of the field. Goes down with Cramp. As we see Dana Tau back on the field. And the walking wounded for the Kangaroos. Uh, under 11 minutes away from a grand final berth. And they've got a penalty to the Kangaroos, another one. And it's right in front of the sticks too. They'll have to take the two here, you'd think. I was about to ask, do you do that to make it a 14 point game? They most certainly are going to take the kick. Drew McQuarrie, three from three today. We'll certainly back him in to add the two points from in front. And, and listen, probably a bit of a soft penalty, but another silly one again from uh, Bunda Noon, and that's made a big difference in the game tonight in key, key parts where they've, uh, again, needed to fight themselves out. And the way at the football stadium, early <coughs> stages, no score for Rugrats Rugby, Roosters and Sharks. Qualifying semi-final number two. Drew McQuarrie now will be about 18 metres out. Directly in front at the southern end. To make it a 14-point margin. 
We're enjoying the coverage wherever you are. Don't forget you can find us on social media. MacArthurSportsRadio.com And uh, also at Conversion is successful. Well, the penalty goal is successful rather. Three, huh? Drew McQuarrie, he's four from four tonight. Penalty goal to number four, Drew McQuarrie. Brings the score now to City. Uh, Twenty. Colleagues. About the conditions very cool and damp early in the day. So they, those two points make all the difference. What are we down to, Dave? 740. That's right. And, uh, three tries from Bundaberg. If they want to uh, be through to next week, it's going to be a battle. But they've never given up all night. And they're not about to either. So that makes it 20 points to 6 on the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. We hear Dave McDonald for John Stoneman and Cole Lewis. Level 1, 110 Queen Street, Campbelltown. Don't forget your 15 minute obligation free appointment. We'll wrap this up post match. The Kit McGrimer Allen. We value your child's education, trust your intuition. Speak to Dave for any team that Kit McGrimer Allen. For more information, find them on Facebook. Search Kit McGrimer Allen for more information and all our stats for Rugrats Rugby. And thank all our sponsors in 2018 for their support of Group 6 Rugby League and Group 6 League Live on MacArthur Sports Radio. We have you. We simply would not be here tonight to bring you the action. Referees found another penalty to the Kangaroos inside the 10. There's again, and I'll tell you what, that's probably nearly going to be the nail in the coffin. If, uh, the Kangaroos might, again might rush to take the... Take the play, they've again, just got to play smart football, not rush the passes here, and they'll wrap this game up. We're just under six and a half to go now. Kick finds the line, 33 out. You would think Bowling probably gone. Bowling City look like they're going to replay the major semi final against Warragamba on Saturday evening in Harvey Shepherd Field, where they met last Sunday morning. We see the Kangaroos working on the right-hand side of the field, inside the quarter, only 16 metres out. There's uh, Kiriaku, he's been good out of dummy half tonight, the number nine. We'll receive it now. Find a runner on the left-hand side. Now it's Barnes out wide. We've got numbers out there, that's uh, Grukinich. And Grukinich with it. Inside the 10, they go down the short side on the eastern side, but they end up in touch. That will be a scrum feed 10 metres out, 20 in on the eastern side of the field to Bundanoon. So 5 20 in counting. At, uh, 20 points to 6 the score for MacArthur Insulation. NRL Mike, three and a half gone, nil all. It's Cronulla with the ball and a penalty to them, 20 out from the Roosters line. Keep an eye on that. Penrith 27, Warriors 12 full time in the early match. As we see the Highlanders with the scrum feed 10 out from their own line. They need to go the distance and repeatedly and quickly. And here's half a chance for the Highlanders down the western side. Great run. Still going. Mike Thompson almost to the 40. Great run from the winger. And gets driven back for five metres in the process. That was a bit a la the zip zip man. That was turning back the hands of time to the 80s. When we were much younger and much more naive. As we see a penalty to the Highlanders for a high tackle. So a penalty to the Highlanders. 6-2 six, six, second half scoreline in favour of uh, Bundanoon. Time off as well. He was, he was trying to call a player out. It's the 12 for City. That's uh, Vern Phillips, the skipper. So, clock showing 4.15. And now clock. I've stopped it as well. Yeah, that's not the official clock either, so. Well, it's the MSR clock. Yes. The official timekeepers here. Time back on for a high tackle. Kick for the touch from 40 metres out. I should find it inside the Camerton City half. They will by about five metres. A little bit more. Getting with the tap. Through the hands they go. Oh, what a tackle. Great hit there. On the, on the attack though, inside the 40. 
Downtown City's defence has been good. They've only been broken once tonight. Can they hold on inside the final four minutes? 20 points to six it is. Here's a chance for the Highlanders on the right-hand side. Inside the quarter now, they'll play it 16 metres out from the line. Back to the right-hand side, they go Chris Conquest out wide. Finds a running Anthony Phelps for the line. He's only a few metres out on the eastern side. Back to the open left, they come. Long ball out wide. Isaac Martin looked like he might have been taken high. Referee says play on arm up last tackle. Under the post, five metres out. Denning goes himself out of dummy half. Did he get it down? No. Turnover. Last tackle handover. Campbelltown City holding on. They lead 20 points to six. Three to go. That could be all she wrote now. Under three minutes to go. We've got another play down, but quickly might get our real. The Sharkies have scored. <laughs> the Sharks are in, so it'll be 4 0. Kick to come around the grounds for Rugrats Rugby in the NRL qualifying semi. We're still underway here, 240 and counting. Hamilton City, two and a half minutes away, they get the penalty. So two and a half minutes for Campbelltown City. Nothing silly, and they will get the. Oh, and, a, and 10 for back chat. Oh, that never oh, sorry, 10 us. meter uh, advancement. Yes. 10 in the bin. And an extra 10 meters for descent. It's a pet peeve of all the referees. Oh, no, but again, two and a half to go. I think the Bundanoon guys know it's uh, gone now, but. Yeah. Uh, if it wasn't already, I think it's uh, certainly gone now. See the tap taken. 25 metres out. Bundanoon on the charge. Great run there from Mohamed Khan. 25 metres out from his own line. The most inconsequential, 150 to go. Complete the set, fine touch. That'll just about do it, I think. Conversion unsuccessful at, at uh, the uh, football stadium, 4 0 Sharks over Roosters. That's for Rugrats Rugby, around the ground to the NRL. Here it's Campbelltown City 20, Bundanoon 6 in the preliminary final. Campbelltown City will meet Roy Gamba next, uh, next Saturday night, 6.30 at Harvey Shepherd Field for the, the title in 2018. We'll be there for all three matches from 3.30 on Saturday afternoon. Join us for the grand final weekend only on MSR. The only place you'll hear Group 6 Rugby League. The final stages of this one. Barnes has been excellent today. The number six for Campbelltown City. He takes on the line yet again. Won't come through the other side. He'll have seven days to recover along with his teammates in the blue and golds. And the ball bobbles around. We've got a penalty to Bundanoon in the dying seconds, but it's only academic. Well, in fact, no, penalty to Campbelltown City. He certainly uh, pointed uh, in the direction of Bundanoon, but... Uh, Campbelltown City for offside. Accidental offside. Just over 30 seconds remaining. So this one is done and dusted. Now listen to the... It looks like a few sore and sorry boys for the Campbelltown City side. Are they going to be able to back up next week? Well, they'll certainly have to back up against Warwick Amber, who have been the form side in second division this year. They'll be hoping they can produce the goods one more time. The Wombats. That should be a good one. A replay of the major semi from last Sunday morning. Campbelltown City, if they scored, no, they're short. In fact, I think he's ruled uh, his time on our clock. So we're very close to the final siren. Bit of a, bit of a scrappy end to it. We're waiting for the ball to get there to be played. Final siren. There it is in the background. The Kangaroos are through to the grand final. 20 points to six. They take the tap from a metre out. They'll take the tackle. And there it is. Full time in the preliminary final. Campbelltown City are through. 20 points to six over the Bundanoon Highlanders. A gallant Bundanoon Highlanders, it has to be said. We'll take a break here on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. The wrap-up is next for Kip McGrath and Stay with us. The Roos and Wombats in the grand final next week. Full-time scorer in this preliminary final, City 20, Thunderdome 6. 
City move on to play Warragamba next week in the grand final at Kirkham. Congratulations both sides. Yeah, it's six rounds. <laughs> 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 